When we eat food, what parts of plants are we eating? Well, we can actually eat all parts of plants. Let's back up a little bit. A few weeks ago, I decided to do a little experiment. You can also try this at home yourself. I was soaking some beans for my dinner and decided to leave a few extra soaking to see what would happen. Before I knew it, I started to see something magical. Take a look at what happened. How did beans get from here to here and finally here? Well, it turns out beans are actually seeds. Inside the seed is everything it needs to grow so that when the seeds are given a little water, warmth, and some love, the seeds start to grow. The awesome thing about some seeds is that they can be grown like this or eaten like this. What other types of seeds have you eaten? I've eaten these beans, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, and more. Let's learn about the other plant parts that we can eat. So what's peeking out of this bean? That's right, a root. Roots are what help this baby plant absorb water and other nutrients from the soil to help it become big and strong. As the plant gets bigger, roots also help it stay in the ground and keep it upright, kind of like legs and feet for humans. And just like seeds, humans can eat some roots too. Maybe not these ones, but what about these? Did you know that carrots are roots too? They're so sweet and delicious. Here are a few other types of roots that I like to eat. Have you tried any of them? Once the seed has sprouted roots, it will start to grow some baby leaves. Just like human babies, plant babies need food too. But unlike human babies, plant babies actually use the sun for food. Imagine if we could do that. And leaves help plants absorb the sun's energy and turn it into food for the plants. Look at how big these leaves are. Think about how much sunlight this plant can capture. And just like seeds and roots, some leaves are also eaten by humans. This lettuce leaf in particular is super delicious in salads and even raw. But wait, if we're eating the leaves of plants, will it damage the plant and keep it from turning sunlight into food? Well, yes and no. Like everything in life, there's a delicate balance. Pick too many, and yes, the plant won't be able to get enough sunlight to make food. But if you pick off the right amount, it can actually help the plant grow. Kind of like giving it a haircut. A win-win situation for plants and for humans. Check out these other leaves that are delicious to eat. So what's supporting these big, beautiful leaves? Well, take a look at these big, beautiful, and colorful stems. Besides keeping the plant and leaves supported, Stems also help transfer water and other nutrients throughout the plant. When they get big enough, we can also eat the stems too. For some plants, that's the only part we eat. Can you recognize any of these stems? What do you think happens to the plant after its leaves and stems get bigger and bigger? Well, it starts to flower. Did you know that broccoli is actually the flower of the plant? Not only are they pretty to look at, but animals really like them too. Plants can't walk, so these flowers help the plant attract both animals and humans to help them get pollinated. Did you know that artichokes and cauliflower are also delicious flowers that we can eat? Not all flowers get eaten as food. Some get pollinated and then become fruit. Do you know what this fruit is? If you guessed strawberry, you'd be right. And this is one of my favorite fruits to eat. I'm here to answer your question once and for all. Is a tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Well, the answer is both. A fruit can be anything that contains seeds. And look at the seeds in this tomato but it can also be cooked like a vegetable. Peppers can also be fruits and vegetables. How cool is that? And this brings us back full circle to the beginning of the plant life cycle with the seed. Oftentimes we can save the seeds so we can grow more of the same plants in the future or we can just eat them. 
Now that we've seen all of these different plants and their parts, let's do a review of the plant life cycle. Do you remember where we started at the beginning of this video? That's right, with the seed. We can eat those or save those to grow more plants. As the seed grows, it uses roots to absorb water and other nutrients in the soil. The leaves help the plant get sunlight to make food. The stem supports the leaves and brings water from the roots to the leaves. The flower helps plants get pollinated so that we can have fruit, which contains seeds, and helps start the cycle all over again. Now that we've learned all of this, see if you can count how many plant parts you're eating during your next meal.